everyone this is Nikita here and in today's video I'm going to make a card that is in line with the theme that Lulupu has set for November shabby chic cards um, and these cards have to be shaped so I decided to make a card in the shape of a butterfly but I didn't have any dies that had that shape so what I decided to do was take a really thick piece of cardstock draw half of a butterfly on it and cut it out so here is the piece of cardstock that I have and I'm going to use this as a stencil. So what I did was I took a 6 by 5 inches piece of cardstock and scored it at 3 inches. This is the 6 inch side, this is the 5 inch side. I scored it at 3 inches and I folded it. On this fold I placed this stencil. Sorry I think I'm doing it the wrong way. I placed the stencil and I drew an outline. I made another similar fold and turned the stencil over and drew the outline and then I cut that out. So now I have one piece. I'm going to cut this other piece whilst it is still folded. Okay, so I now have uh, two pieces of this butterfly with a fold in the center. Now what I'm going to do is, in the final card, these two pieces will be one over the other and this card will open from both sides. Now, for the front and the back, I'm going to use pattern paper and uh, I did the same thing with the stencil. I have this 6x6 six six pattern paper from Indie Chic Collection and uh, I first drew the outline keeping the stencil this way then I turned the stencil over and aligning this edge with the edge of the paper I drew another outline and then cut those two pieces out right now I have these pieces I cut this out in another from another pattern paper that's this and before I adhere them on to the final card I want to distress these a little bit for the distressing, I'm going to first use some antique linen and then move on to some tea dye. Okay, so here I have all the four pieces nicely distressed with two colors and uh, I plan to put these two on the front of the card whereas these two will go on the back and I'm going to use two sentiments, one from uh, the JD Lee Designs uh, stamp set that I got as a part of my Simon Says Stamp card kit. Uh, I'm going to use this stamp that says so very pretty. And I have another stamp set uh, called Butterfly to Build from the Stamps of Life. And I'm going to say Flutter by Butterfly. So one sentiment is go here on the top left corner. And the other one is going to go right here on the top right corner. And I'm going to heat emboss both sentiments. Okay, so I have, uh, so I have both stamps ready mounted on my block. I have my anti-static pad and uh, watermark stamp pad. And now I'm going to start. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Once I was done embossing, uh, I just took one of the darker distress inks, that is tea dye, and just rubbed slightly over this with the sponge and wiped it off with a cloth so that whatever ink was stuck on the embossing powder wouldn't stay there anymore. So now the embossing stands out more than it was before. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take one piece and adhere these two pattern papers 
from this and to hide this line in between I'm going to use some pearls okay so I have stuck the card together so I have glued it in between so that it opens this way and this way and this is the back of the card now here in this place I'm going to use these pearls Okay, so here is the card and I added a few more pearls on the edges. Um, I used this Mikia stamp set and uh, white embossed uh, two more butterflies uh, on leftover pattern paper and added a little few pearls here as well. And I wanted to use some lace but I didn't have any so I made this using crochet and I'm going to tie this around here. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is take this from underneath the card. Ensure that it's even over here. And then tie it into a simple knot. Just let it hang. And I'm going to now adhere these butterflies using glossy accents. And then I'm just going to go around the edges with a white gel pen and make some dash lines. Here's the finished card, all done. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back soon with something else next time. Have a nice day. Thank you.